Today we're diving into a very common question, DDR5 versus DDR4 RAM, which one should you choose for your PC? Whether you should go with DDR4 or DDR5 depends entirely on what you need your PC to do. Sure, DDR5 is newer and faster, but not always the best choice for everyone. It really boils down to your budget, your use case, and of course, compatibility. For gamers, the graphics card must be your top priority. Whether you're playing with a top-notch or a mid-range GPU, even DDR4 at 3200 megahertz will be more than enough. In fact, upgrading beyond that won't really affect your FPS that much. On the other hand, when it comes to more demanding tasks like video editing, rendering, or 3D animation, that's where DDR5 starts to shine. The extra speed can improve performance significantly, especially if you're working higher resolutions. Let's dive deeper into DDR4 first. DDR4 is still widely compatible with most systems and is perfect for budget builds. Right now, you can grab 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM at 3200 MHz for as little as $40 and 32 gigabytes for around $70. If you're going for DDR4, anything between 3000 and 3200 MHz is ideal. If you're going above 3200 MHz, just keep in mind that the performance benefits for gaming are very minimal most of the time. But if you're using your PC for productivity tasks, you might want to consider speeds like 3600 MHz or even higher. Let's now talk about DDR5. DDR5 has definitely become more affordable, with 32 gigabytes at 6,000 megahertz available for just around $100. For Intel processors, you should get DDR5 at at least 5,600 megahertz, while for AMD, we recommend at least 6,000 megahertz. However, DDR5 compatibility can be tricky. If you have an older motherboard or CPU, you might need to upgrade those as well. Before you buy DDR5 RAM, make sure your processor and motherboard can actually handle it. You can easily check compatibility on the manufacturer's website. For example, some Intel's Z690 motherboards limit DDR5 to 4800 MHz, which is way lower than the 5600 we recommend. In that case, building DDR4 would be the better option. So, if you're gaming, DDR4 is probably more than enough. But, if you're working on heavy-duty tasks like video rendering or AI development, DDR5 will definitely give you a performance boost. And, how much RAM do you actually need? For gaming, 16 gigabytes should be more than enough. But if you're doing very intensive tasks like video editing or using Google Chrome, you'll want 32 gigabytes or even 64, depending on the complexity of your work. So, there you have it. We hope this breakdown helps you choose the right RAM for your build. If you want a more detailed overview, check out the article in our website and Gaming for All. Thanks for watching.